So I got into music uh, when I was living in Australia. I was um, traveling around Australia and I realized that I just had a passion for music I started performing. Also, I um, just before I went to Australia, I met a producer named Shikari Knight and uh, I started recording with him and I met a producer in Australia who uh, wanted to sign me to his label. But because I was an Australian citizen, I had to come back to Toronto. So then I started working with, I met Alex, Alex Franco, and we started working together because we seemed to match, we seemed to really work well, and we ended up finishing a full album together. But by that point, I wanted to work with Pete Perlesnik, who um, I'm, I had met like six years before that. We met at a party, a much music after party, and he worked with Sarah Harmer, and I just loved Sarah Harmer's album. And we produced um, the more recent album. Well, we submitted um, a music video to Much Music today. No way. Yeah. It was uh, Give a Little Love. Growing up, um, I just loved Sarah McLaughlin. Like I, that's I kind of learned my some vocal techniques from her growing up. I just sang every day in college. Then I went to um, vocal lessons here in Toronto um, with Voices and Company. So they helped me develop my voice a little bit. And I also really liked, of course, like I loved Madonna growing up. You know, just her style of shows, I just love that, so I wanted to um, do those kind of shows as well, of course. So with the album that I just made in the studio, uh, most of those songs are about a breakup that I went through and you know we went out for six years so we learned so much about each other and, um, and I realized okay it's gonna be a long time till I get over this guy and really work through what I'm going through and um, maybe in 10 years I'll be able to see him again but until then it's better if I just don't talk to him for a while because the pain that we went through was just just too much so um, we had to take a really long break from talking to each other and that's what 10 years is about. Most of that album was just about being in a really deep committed relationship and all the things that you go through with that person. about being free from life things and just finding out who you are and not having all these responsibilities placed on you and say, you know, people expect you to be a certain thing, but you have to find out who you are. So that's what Set Me Free is all about. Yeah, the process for writing a song is can be all different. Like um, some producers or songwriters Somebody will write a guitar part and I'll put the lyrics to it or I'll come up with the melody and lyrics and then they have to work around it and put the tracks and the beats to it later on. I went through, I went through a really deep stage, I really dug deep and that's what came out that album. So it's something like um, when you make an album it's kind of like making a child you know it's like goes through a big process of emotion and feeling and this is my album that's for sale on CD Baby <laughs> but I also sell it on a couple different sites and my other two albums are gonna be for sale soon too